Probably my favorite pattern in the Composing Method series is called Replace Method with Method Object. The idea behind this one is that you have a long method that uses a lot of local variables in such a way that it makes it difficult to apply extract method or other refactorings. As Robert Martin once said, complicated methods are where objects go to hide. And this, this pattern exemplifies that. So take for example this method here that Martin Fowler wrote in his book, and he, by the way, explicitly says that he made this method up as he went along. It probably doesn't do anything meaningful, but it serves as a good example. So we have these temporary variables. These are already split up into temps and quite possibly explaining variables throughout here. But there's still a lot going on here, so maybe we want to try to extract something. We might try extract method a couple of times, for example. We start with this one. We call that get important value 1. We had to pass in a couple of parameters there, so that's it's a little messy. All we did was take those parameters and immediately delegate them to another method. How about important value 2? That has a two-step calculation. Let's see what that one looks like. Well, that one's, that one's not very pretty either. That's got three arguments being passed in. And then important value 3, that's also going to have an argument being passed in. Oops. So I don't like where these refactorings are going. And in fact, this is a problem we run into a lot when we try to apply extract method without thinking about the overall design first. We end up with methods like these which are kind of difficult to follow and they are tightly coupled to one another through all these parameters that are being passed around. Well, there's another pattern hiding here that we can use, and it's called replace method with method object. So what we're going to do is take this gamma method that's on the account class, and we're going to create a gamma object. And that object has several values here. We'll give it a private property for each one of these, starting with the account itself that's being passed in. Then these three inputs are going to need to be held in there as well. And these aptly named important values will also need to be there. Now let's give it a constructor that takes in these same values plus a reference to the account. Now, I don't like these arg suffixes that I'm putting in here, but that's just temporary. You'll see where we go with that. So now we have the object itself, and it's going to need to do this calculation. So let's just give it a public function called compute that returns an int. And now all of this logic can be moved into that function. We just need to make a couple of modifications. This is where we reference the account. 
and we have class level members that we can reference here. And now this just delegates the whole thing to that object. Now that we've turned that method into a method object, let's say we want to apply those refactorings again. Well, in fact, we don't even have to we don't have to apply that um, extract method pattern just here. Since this is a class level object, we can apply it to the entire line. Similarly with each subsequent important value, because they're dealing with these class level instance values. And so you see these extracted methods turn out to be a lot cleaner. And all we had to do was just create a class to hold all of this. And in fact, we could continue to do more refactorings here. We might want to put this into an explaining variable. We might want to continue other small refactorings through here to make the code a little more readable, a little easier to follow. And we're free to do a lot of that very cleanly because we've extracted this object. Now, I said earlier I didn't like these. The only reason why I kept these was because I didn't want to change these class level members because then when I brought the whole thing over, I would have to change all of these values that are in here to match the names. But now that I've encapsulated them within this class, I can change them all I want. Using the built-in tools with Visual Studio, I don't have to worry about all the different places that this variable is used. The name change just happens automatically. And so now renaming these becomes a little easier. So even though we knew we were going to do that ahead of time, it was still prudent to wait until the right time in the refactoring to do it, so we don't get ahead of ourselves. Everything being small, discrete steps. And in fact, if this class is only ever used inside of the account object, well, there's no reason not to put it inside the account object if need be. We can take the whole thing. Let's fix our spacing here. We can even make it private. It makes no difference to the account object. All it did was encapsulate that code in a cleaner way and give us something much easier to work with. And that's pretty much it for the replace method with method object pattern. Thanks for watching.